And your bird, Charlie Parker, had come from the same tradition that produced those bands that came stomping out of the Southwest, riffing on songs like Jumping at the Woodside and Boat and Swing. And those same riffs were being played by the Glenn Miller Orchestra and all the other bands who put us in the mood with snappy, repetitive phrases reminiscent of the so American infatuation with catchy slogans like Tippecanoe and Tyler too. And Irving Berlin told you that those riffs were dusted in Afro-Americana rhythm called syncopation, which he perceived as the most democratic approach when he penned Alexander's ragtime band. And this music was all about the transformative encounter with the other, which every piece of Afro-Latin jazz declared. Puerto Rican Juan Tizal gave Duke Ellington Caravan. Cuban Chico O'Farrell gave Charlie Parker the Afro-Cuban jazz suite, which put everything together for once and for all. Chico told me one night in his house, he said, man, I had to move out of New York and go to Mexico because it seems like we always had the energy to come together and then for some reason, we always felt, fell apart. He came back to New York later and that was where Gershwin was victorious once again when he pulled Porgy and Bess down from the heavens to tell us it all belonged to all of us. And this battalion of anointed musicians explained that everything in a democracy was ebb and flow like making love. And they understood or intuited that if you followed that music, it could teach you how to do that too. Embrace me.